Feathers are a diagnostic feature that distinguishes extant birds from other animal groups. However, birds inherit their feathers from their dinosaur ancestors in the Mesozoic, and feathers similar to those in modern birds were present in several groups of dinosaurs which together form a clad, the Peneroptera, that also includes birds. Feathers are central to many important functions in avian life. They affect the bird's color and shape and hence are important for camouflage that protect birds from their predators and have an important role in visual communication. In addition, the wing feathers form the main surface over which aerodynamic forces act on the bird to enable its flight. Full-grown feathers are dead structures consisting mainly of keratin. Feathers are lost or irreparably damaged through mechanical abrasion, photochemical processes, ectoparasites, bacteria, and fungi. Unlike other keratin structures like hair and claws, feathers cannot be renewed continuously from their base and old feathers must be shed completely before new ones develop. This process is called feather molt. In most bird species, wing feathers molt in sequential and include slow, gradual and directional renewal of the wing feathers. It is also symmetrical between the two wings. The sequential and symmetrical process has developed to maintain the bird's flightability during this process. However, birds that are able to survive without maintaining their flight ability replace their flight feathers simultaneously so that they are unable to fly for a short period of a few weeks. This strategy occurs in many aquatic birds which can avoid predation by diving and in species that spend their molting period within a very densely vegetated habitat that protects them from predators. In addition, flightless bird species such as ostriches molt their wing feathers gradually but not in a sequence, and this process is not done in symmetry between the two wings. This is because these birds do not use their wings for flight and do not need to maintain their flight ability during this process. In this study, we were interested to explore wing feather molt in non-avian dinosaurs. Discoveries of nearly complete Peneroptoran dinosaurs preserving feathers in the province of Liaoning in northeastern China provide the opportunity to study this process in dinosaurs that are 130 to 120 million years old. One important species is the Microraptor Zaoyanus, a volant four-winged dromaeosaurid that was first described by Professor Xing Shu of the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology in Beijing, China. In one exceptionally well-preserved specimen, we found evidence of active feather molting indicating that Microraptor's molt was sequential, as in most extant bird species. This discovery provides the first clear evidence of sequential wing feather molt in fossil record and the first clear identification of molting in non-avian dinosaurs. Our finding indicates that this complex feather molt strategy appeared early in Peravian evolution like many other characteristics associated with modern avians. Our data from extant birds indicates that the sequential molt, which maintains flight ability during the molting period, likely evolved to maintain escape and movement-dependent foraging capacities throughout the year. This suggests that the sequential molt in Microraptor may indicate that the habitats used by Microraptor during the molting period did not provide adequate protection from predation or that Microraptor depended on its flight capabilities while foraging. In either case, natural selection on Microraptor produced a wing feather molt strategy that was sequential with gradual replacement of its wing feathers, which likely allowed the flight to be maintained during the molting period.